What's up, May? Mm -hmm. This is the May interview. <laughs> well, what's up, Mochi? Mochi's over here, too. Hey, how you doing? How you doing, Mochi? Yeah, you're so cute. You're so cute. You're so fat. You're so fat and cute, Mochi. <laughs> and get your kiss on. All right, so we're now at the airport. LAX, pretty late. It's like four in the morning. I'm really tired. If I died from Ligma right now, I'd be totally fine with that. E equals MC squared, because we're at Einstein, bros. Call me Bill, because we're at the gates. I just realized, I think I forgot my Tommy Hilfiger shirt. That's one of my favorite shirts. I just bought it recently. Oh my gosh, I gotta buy another one. At least I got my Tommy bag, so we're Gucci. And I got my Tommy Hilfiger socks. We're just balling out here. I'm still broke though, not trying to flex, all right? That was just my favorite shirt and I forgot it. I'm very sad. I just passed through the security. They stopped me, like always. That happens every time. I don't think I've ever been through security without getting stopped. They low-key fondled my peanuts, if you know what I'm saying. Felt kinda good. So I I just landed in LA. Next flight, Japan. Holy sh the sun. <laughs> so there's some things I need to talk about. Been getting a couple DMs, been getting a couple comments on the gram. Apparently some people think I've changed. First of all, everyone's changing, all right? Everyone's kind of changing in their own way all the time. Most people don't completely change. Most of us are just growing. That's it, that's all we're doing. So because I changed my hairstyle, because I changed what I wear, because I get a chain, that has nothing to do do with my character that has nothing to do with me changing that's just me being like oh that looks kind of cool i want to wear that all this is just material things all right just because i got earrings that doesn't mean i pierced my soul i just pierced my ears not a big deal if you really think i've changed if you really think i'm not humble anymore i'm like i'm some big shot trying to flex like trying to be a cool kid y'all understand i'm just being me i'm the type of kid to not really care about what other people think i wear what i want i don't care about judgment i do what i want i don't change myself because of other people's opinions about me so if you think i've changed that's on you but this comment here took it right out of my mouth i'm the same goofy kid as i was since i don't even know i was a little kid i'm a weirdo all right i also think this chain is pretty though just because i got chain that just means i think i'm from the hood now all right i don't pretend to be what i'm not all right if i hang out with ghetto people i'm not gonna just start talking like this and be like all ghetto and shit you know what i'm saying i'm gonna just be myself it's like when people try to act black once they start talking to black people it's like what are you doing you're embarrassing yourself be yourself it doesn't matter if you act white or whatever like just be yourself black people don't care about how you act they think it's weirder when you try to act black instead of just being yourself also i'm 18 the past five years of my life on youtube has been me literally just going through phases of course i'm changing i'm just finding myself i'm just growing like it's not a big deal guys whatever you think in your head i'm still the same nice genuine kid if you meet me in real life i assure you i'm one of the chillest nicest people you'll meet and that's a fact anyone who's friends with me can tell you that so yeah don't think i've changed just because what i wear or however i act in a video i'll probably just do that for the video i'm probably just joking around like i'm just an 18 year old kid i'm not a bad person i'm weird i make mistakes i do things for the camera definitely Definitely, but I'm also pretty real like I'm the type of person where if I get exposed I'll just be like that's me. I won't ever lie to you guys about some shit. I'm not gonna try to be someone I'm not. I'm not gonna, I don't know. I'll always be pretty genuine with you guys and whenever I'm not, it's just for entertainment. It's purely for entertainment. So don't don't even think toxic thoughts about me. I'm just a kid trying to entertain my quesadillas on YouTube. Nothing more, nothing less. That's it. Sorry about my little rant. I just had to speak my mind real quick. One of the hardest things about YouTube to me is getting everyone to like me, which is impossible but I just don't like when people don't like me because I'm a people pleaser. So yeah, yeah, when people just say random shit about me like oh i've changed or i'm some scumbag or something i just want to defend myself and the people who ride with me will will know what's up so yeah cool i'm gonna edit the video about my bunny now hope you guys enjoyed that video also i realized i'm gonna have a problem in japan not really a problem but just a little concern i'm not really excited about the female selection in japan don't get me wrong japanese women are nice japanese women are probably one of my top contestants for, for a wifey they cook well they work hard they clean well. I'm not even trying to be sexist. I'm just complimenting them. They're they're good at that. Ah! But you know who else does that too? 
Latinas, and there's no Latinas in Japan. I don't know, I'm just gonna miss my Latinas. Not saying Japanese girls are ugly, but Japanese girls, to me at least, it's like a needle in a haystack. The one Japanese girl you'll find is like the cutest girl you've ever seen, but everyone else is like, eh. Whereas in America, mostly everyone's kind of pretty somehow. Maybe it's the fashion, maybe it's just the different makeup, I don't know, but maybe I'll find a Japanese baddie though, we'll see. You never know what could happen, okay? You can't expect anything. I don't even know what I'm saying. We have officially made it to Japan. Japan looks really boring from this angle, but I assure you it's not. Japan is very lit. One of the most litty cities in the world, I would say so. This is so weird to be back. I was like kind of feeling some Japanese vibes at the airport since there's a lot of Japanese people, but right now I'm really feeling the Japanese vibes. Like the air smells Japanese. I don't know how to explain it. I'm really getting some Japanese air vibes. I don't even know. I've only been in Japan for like five minutes and I could already point out like 30 weeps so i was really worried because i wasn't sure if my debit card would work in japan but it did end up working i don't know how because i have dollars on it i don't have yen i guess it just translates i don't even know maybe i just got stuff for free anyway i just got a milk tea though this is one of my favorite drinks in japan i haven't had it in like three years so i'm really excited to drink some it's so weird to be back i swear this is weird i remember being here too like at this exact area like i said before if i close my eyes i can tell this is japan just by smelling it like the air smells Japanese. How does their smell Japanese? I don't know. But yeah, it's so weird to be back. I'm excited though. I think I was wrong about the whole like needle in a haystack kind of thing with Japanese girls because like there's actually kind of a lot of cuties. So that's pretty lit. Milk tea is so good. I used to take popping classes in Japan when I used to live here and every time I would buy milk tea at the vending machine before class. This is nostalgia in a bottle here folks. This is so weird. Everyone's Japanese. It's good to be back. It's good to be back. When I was speaking to the cashier, I was getting back into the flow of the language. I'm kind of rusty, not gonna lie. Like, I can speak Japanese, but I don't know. It's just not like, it's not strong, you know what I mean? Like, I always talk to my mom in Japanese and stuff like that. It's just, I can't talk like politics or like, you know, crazy big vocab words in Japanese, you know what I mean? But like normal talk, I can I can talk pretty fine. I feel a lot better now though, because I'm a lot more confident now. Back when I used to live here like four or five years ago, I was a lot less confident, so I didn't like talking to Japanese people that much. Like I could speak Japanese, Japanese, but at the time I just wasn't confident as a person, but now I'm a lot more confident So I don't even care if I mess up if I'm like weird or talk weird I'll just be me Japanese people like me so I'm chilling I am now about to hop on the train if you guys don't know trains are like the thing in Japan Colorado Springs you need a car, but here you just take trains everywhere. It's pretty late You don't need a train license for that quick story. I got my driver's license like two months ago I know I'm late. I just never drove before literally the first time I drove that's not like an open area like a park lot was my driving test. I have no idea how I passed. I got a 9 out of 21, but apparently I knew how to drive, so he passed me, but the driver's test guy just started roasting me after. He's like, okay, you get your driver's license, but you suck at driving. You're gonna get yourself killed. You're gonna get someone else killed. You are the worst driver I've ever seen in my entire life. That's literally what he said. No lie. I don't know how I got my driver's license, but I did it, and now I don't even need it because I'm just gonna be using trains all the time. This is so weird. Everyone's like Asian looking. Everyone's so chinky. It's it's so freaking hot, it feels like a sauna. It's like 100 degrees right now. And it's humid, so it just feels like Florida. 45 years ago, you went on this exact place every single day to go to elementary school? That's crazy. But you were a little girl. Isn't that dangerous to go by yourself? Is it still safe now or is it dangerous? You heard it here folks, ladies and gentlemen. Japan is pretty safe. Lots of perverts, but at least there's no school shooters. Alright, my quesadillas. We have just arrived to the town where my grandparents live. It's a cute little area. There's a bakery right here. All sorts of little shops. There's some taiyaki over here. Why are we going in here? I'm hungry. Now I'm just shopping a little bit at the local grocery store. Japan always has the fresh on the spot. Japanese fried chicken at like convenience stores or like little grocery stores those are the best i don't know why this is pink that's kind of weird look at all these foods that is beautiful there's some okonomiyaki takoyaki okonomiyaki slash noodles noodles spring rolls i think half the reason i'm so happy to be here is the food i'm excited to eat it's what would i say look at that look at that look at that look at that that rice just looks beautiful all right ladies and gentlemen here it is this is the good stuff these rice balls are like the best thing they're not really rice balls but they're like rice triangles they're really good though that's the best one actually i gotta get this 
Got it, got it, good. We made it to my grandparents' house. I'm sweating my ass off. It is so humid. Oh my god. I'm gonna die of heat stroke. It's so hot. Oh my god. I'm gonna take a shower, but funny thing. So first thing I see when I come in is my grandma butt naked. Like straight up butt naked. That was not a sight. I wanted to see lots of uh skin lots of wrinkly skin she literally just got out of the shower so it was kind of a bad time for me to come in but yeah i'm gonna take a shower real quick so hold up shall we yeah